Okay, to answer your question, rent, regardless of the day that you move in, kicks in on the first day of the month, due on the first day of the month, and regardless of how many days left in the month that you arrive, you're going to be charged and billed for the full month. Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about studying in Canada and how you can make great use of the information we have here to make informed decisions. My name is Olaiton. I am the founder of Oakridge Consulting. So, welcome back. Thank you so much for staying tuned. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the link below. Turn on your post notification so you are the first to be notified if we put up another video there. Thank you so much fans we love you for always subscribing for always encouraging us that is the question we were asked so let's address it okay hey guys this is Olaito from the Oak Ridge consulting classroom i just got a question asking um how does the rent payment and um, how does the rent payment works so the rent payment works this way Say, for instance, you want to move into an apartment for December. You need to start searching as from now, which is end of October, and intensify your search as from the first day of November. Because it is expected for any tenants that is going to be leaving the apartment you're looking to rent to give the landlord a one month notice informing that landlord that he or she is leaving. Failure to do so means that the person is going to you know for fit is or security deposits that is paid before occupancy of that apartment now to your question you want to rent an apartment because you're coming into canada on the 21st of december 2021 it's either you do this find an apartment now get the security deposit paid and on the first day of um, december you pay your rent Rent are due on the first day of each month and it covers that month regardless of whether or not you are occupying that unit. So bear in mind that even if you choose to come in on the first day of December, it is the same rent that you pay. If it is 1000 it is 1000 that covers for the one month. If you're coming on the 21st of December, which is like 9 or 10 days away, you still need to pay the same amount. So no landlord is going to leave his apartment unoccupied and then bear the burden of loss of income so that's how it works i hope this helps thank you Bye. the second question you asked if um, you can have some apartments rented out without signing a lease arrangement yes there are options like that so you have two types one is a month-to-month -month kind of agreement what that means is that you might choose to stay there for two years but you are not under obligation to live there for a complete one year before you make a move to leave that apartment for another place so what that means is that it's a month-to-month -month your run your rents are due every month but you can stay there between now and if by next year, January or February, you found another apartment or you feel like you're not comfortable living there, you can serve your landlord a one, a one month notice that you're moving in January. You're not under any obligation to incur any charges or penalty. But for the one that you see on the listing that states that lease, one year lease is a requirement. What's the, what that means is that you must live there for one year. Whether or not you like the building, whether or not you moved in and then you realize that this is the wrongest, <laughs> let me use that word, move you've made, you cannot live until after one year. You cannot break that lease agreement. The only thing that can work in that case is to speak with your landlord to see if you can actually get another student to occupy while you move. And also that student needs to understand the condition in place that I have taken three months out of this lease, I've lived there for three months, I have nine months left, 
can you get on this list for nine months so that's the way that works but failure to find anybody to 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 take over that apartment the one year list stands you have to live there for one year and find another place after one year i hope this helps thank you bye that will be all for today until we come back again next time please stay safe kindly share this video with your friends please leave us a comment turn on the post notification and we appreciate you coming back all the time see you next time stay safe So here's a question someone just asked me now, that is it true that regardless of the date of arrival or the date of moving, rents pay starts with a month, I don't even know. For example, Mr. A, you know, took over an appointment, an apartment rather, and let's say he's far away in Australia and He's arriving Canada on the 16th of December. That person, before he can legally say, I am a tenant, you must first pay your rental deposit, which is called security deposits, and the first month rent that is due on the first day of the month. Say, for instance, Mr. A found that apartment on the 30th of November and he pays the security deposit on the 30th of november he's expected to pay his rent on the first day of december even if he is not in canada as of that date if he's coming to canada on the 25th of december or on the 10th of december any date at all that rent is due and it kicks in the first day it counts to to the 30th or 31 day depending on the days of that month so to answer your question, Lady T, yes, you pay your rent. If you're coming in on December 10 or December 20, you have to pay your rent on the first day of the month. And that rent covers for the entire month, even if you're not occupying that place. It has been rented out to you, you're the tenant, and nobody cares. With that. <laughs> so that's how it works. I hope this addresses your question. Thank you.